Hey guys, welcome to SSUI Tech Susil this side. And today we are going to see about the set variable activity in the ADF. So in the last video we have seen about the lookup activity. So before going to see about the set variable activity, I would strongly recommend to watch that video. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video so you can watch from there because this is the continuation of that video so what is the set variable activity so set variable activity is used to set the value of an existing variable of type string bool or array defined in the data factory so here we can set the variables under these three data types so first is the string data type so we can set second is the bool data type so we can set for the bool and third for the array so we can set for these three data types and here like we are getting the values from any another activity and that from that activity we are going to set the value into the variables by using the set variable activity so go to the browser and we'll see in the practical so if you have remember in the last video we have used this lookup activity so this lookup activity is getting the data for the refresh date. If we can go here and we'll try to go setting and preview the data. So under the preview data, we can see here we are having these columns, but the refresh date, we are more concerned on the refresh date. So here we can see the refresh date that is the 4th of April 2022. So we don't want to keep the values for other columns. We are required to have the refresh date column value only. So how we can set the refresh date column value from this data set into a variable. So for that we have to use the set variable activity. So under the activity we can search for the set variable. So let me connect with this and let me rename this activity with set refresh date now here we can see the variables but we did not created any variable yet so first we can go on the pipeline level and here we can see the option for creating the variables so let me quickly create the variable here and this is the last refresh date so this is the variable that we have created and under the type as we can see we are having string type boolean type or array type so i am happy with the string type and in the default value i am not going to pass anything go in the set variable activity and here we can see the variables so under the names we can see the last refresh date so this is the variable by which we are going to assign the values so we can select this variable here we can see only one because we are having only one variable then we can see the value so under the value we will be getting the value from this output of this lookup activity so we can click on this add dynamic content and here we can see the activity outputs so here is the get refresh date which is the lookup activity let me select this now here we can see the output of that so we are only concerned with the first row of that output and which column so the column that is the refresh date so we have to write the refresh date there and we can click on ok so that's it it will be going to get the input from this lookup activity and assigning the value into the variable that is the last refresh date by using the set variable activity now let me publish this and we'll try to execute and we'll be verifying the output of this set variable so this will be having only a single variable that is the last refresh date and the value what were the value is coming from the lookup activity so publishing completed let me try to debug it so we can click on this debug so it will be executing as you can see it's running so pipeline is completed now we can see the set refresh date which is this variable activity so in this set variable we can check the output so we can click on this here the output that we can see 
last refresh date the variable and whatever the value that we are having that you can see from here in the next video we will be checking if this value that is the last refresh date value is more than the first date of current month then we will be going to load the data from one server to another server that we have already seen the requirement in the last video so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video